Well, Baltimore's biggest police corruption scandal is now in the national spotlight with a new HBO drama. But WJZ has covered the real life impact of the Gun Trace Task Force scandal since the first indictments. In all, 13 officers brought down for robbing citizens, falsifying reports, and trying to cover it all up. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren has covered every angle of this corruption. He is live downtown and has a look at where the main officers convicted in the probe are now. Mike? Denise, two of them have already been released from prison, serving less than five years of their seven year sentences. The sergeant who headed the gun trace task force is not expected to be out of prison until 2038. The scope of corruption on Baltimore Police's elite gun unit was breathtaking. Hey, Sarge! Hey, come downstairs right quick! The GTTF stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars from citizens and then staging videos like this after they'd cracked open a safe and taken the money to cover their tracks. Nobody touches you, understand me, right now. Sir, do you understand your rights? Ringleader, former Sergeant Wayne Jenkins, admitted committing multiple armed robberies and stealing more than $1 million in drugs. He's serving the harshest sentence, 25 years in a Kentucky prison, yet not interested in telling investigators what really happened. He was much more interested in, you know, having a movie producer come in and sit with us during the interview. So, and, and a guy who, who passed himself off as Jenkins's representative, who was not a lawyer, was actually one of his former cellmates. Uh, drew this out for over a year. Former detectives Daniel Hersel and Marcus Taylor were the only two not to accept a plea deal and go to a jury. Both got 18-year sentences. Hersel shared letters with WJZ where he still proclaims his innocence. I'm with uh, Detective Ram here approaching his deal with his Honda minivan. Everything's up here. Jamel Ram is serving 12 years and is currently in a secure medical detention facility in Minnesota. Mamadou Gondo is serving a 10-year sentence in North Carolina. The corruption has cost Baltimore taxpayers more than $13 million, and hundreds of cases these officers worked on had to be thrown out. Baltimore police remain under a consent decree to correct years of civil rights abuses. In a one-on-one -on -one interview this week, the commissioner told WJZ he's committed to reform. We are retraining, relearning, and reteaching a better way to deliver police services here in Baltimore. And there are still ongoing prosecutions linked to the Gun Trace Task Force. Another supervisor, Sergeant Thomas Allers, is currently serving a prison sentence in Florida. Uh, his sentence was 15 years behind bars. Reporting live downtown, Mike Helgren, WJZ.